The ability to work with negative numbers and positive numbers, which are integers, is very important to success in algebra. Set of integers is the set of whole numbers from the negative side to the positive side, including the zero. So it's one, two, three, and so on from the right side, negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on from the left side. And to do the main four operation of adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing for the positive and negative numbers are very important to deal with in algebra. Let's start with how we can add two positive numbers or one of the positive numbers with one of the negative numbers. So we are going to work with the operation of addition and subtraction. Notice here I have a negative number which is negative 5 and another negative number which is negative 3. So I am going to add two negative numbers. So the answer should be negative. Then I am adding 5 and 3 and 5 plus 3 is 8. So the answer is negative 8. So if I'm adding two negative numbers, the answer is a negative number. Here I have a positive 4 and negative 3. It's also add. So I am adding a positive number with a negative one. So I should decide which one of them is first. Is 4 or 3 is bigger? 4 is bigger. So I put the sign of the positive, but usually we don't write the positive sign if the number is positive. And then I am finding the difference between 4 and 3. Difference between 4 and 3 is 1. So it's the same as adding 4 points if you gain 4 points and you lose 3 points. By cancel 3 here and 3 there, the number left is 1. Negative 7 plus 2. Negative 7 is a negative number. Plus 2 or positive 2 is a positive 1. But notice here that 7 is greater than 2. So I put down the sign of the greatest one, which is negative. Then I am finding the difference between 7 and 2, which is equal to 5. It's the same here as you lose 7 points and you gain 2 points. In case of you lose 7 points, and you gain two points, so your total loss is five. Finally, if I have negative four and negative six, and this is the same exactly as negative four plus negative six. So I am adding two negative numbers, so both of them is negative, and four and six is 10, so it's negative 10. Notice the following. If you have a sign outside a bracket, if this sign is the same or the two signs are the same, we change them into positive. So we can rewrite this expression as 9 plus 4 and 9 plus 4 is 13. But if it's two sign of the same, it's positive. So negative 6 plus 2. But here, this one is negative and that one is positive. So it's negative 6 and 6 is bigger. So I put down the negative. And the difference between 6 and 2 is 4. Notice that if it's 9 minus or plus negative 4, here you have two different signs. If you are going to cancel away these two signs, you are going to put a sign of negative. So in case of same sign, I put it positive. In case of two different signs, I put it negative. So it's 9 minus 4, which is equal to 5. Now, let's find the product. And product is the result or the solution of multiplication. In multiplication, you have two cases. The first case, the two numbers have the same sign. Second case, the two numbers have different sign. For example, number one, four multiplied by negative six. This one can be written as four multiplied by negative six, or this one can be written as four dot negative six. Notice that the dot in the middle, or can be written like this. All of these 
are multiplication form. So notice that 4 is a positive value, 6 is a negative value. When you multiply positive by negative, the answer is always negative. And then you multiply as usual. 4 multiplied by 6 is 24. So negative multiplied by positive is give you negative or positive multiplied by negative is give you negative. So if two different numbers, different sign, it gives you always negative. In case of the first number is negative 2 and the second number is negative 6. So the first one is negative and the second one is negative. So the answer is always positive and we don't write the sign of positive. So we multiply 2 by 6 directly, which is equal to 12. So if it's negative, multiply by negative is positive. And the same, of course, we know from fourth primary that if I multiply a positive number by positive number, the answer is positive. The final operation here is division. And find the quotient here means find the result of the division operation. 15 divided by negative 3, which is the first question, can be written as 15 divided by negative 3. So both of them are the same. To be written as a fraction or to be written with the sign of division. We are going to follow the same rule that we followed with the multiplication. If this number is positive, and that number is negative, so it's different. In case of different, the answer is negative. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. Again, this number is positive, which is 30, divided by a negative number. So positive divided by negative is give me negative. And 30 divided by 10 is negative 3. In case of both of them having the same sign, the answer is always positive. And 49 divided by 7 is 7. But we don't write the positive sign. And 30 divided by 6, both of them are positive. So the answer is positive, which is equal to 5. In this video, in this video we just went into the four main operations of addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication on the positive and negative numbers, which are the integers.